Hello students, uh, we will go with the projection of lines. Uh, we have solved uh, one problem in which uh, they will give the true length and true inclination and we need to find the apparent uh, lengths and apparent inclinations. And here, this is one typical problem uh, where uh, they asked us to find the true length and true inclination. It's a reverse order. When the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to the VP. So these are like top and the uh, front view inclinations. And the line is having one end uh, of its end, 15 mm ago HP and 20 mm in front of VP. And one important data here they have given is the distance between the end projectors on XY line is 60 mm. So, so this is what is very important for us to find the true length and the true inclination. To get started with this one, so let's have a XY line and uh, let's take a line and let's see like it's 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So we'll take it from here. So it's 15 enter 90 enter. So this is A dash. And from the same end, we'll say 20 enter minus 90 enter. So this will be a A. So let's say like 15 and 20. And so this will be A dash. And this sorry. <coughs> this is another symbol. So we'll do it wrong. Where we'll say this is A dash. And this is A. Okay. So now once we draw this one, so here we will get a locus of A and here uh, sorry, locus of A dash and here we will get a locus of A here. Okay. So for a timing, I will copy both the things from the previous problem and I will drop it here. Okay. So once this one is done, the next important data for us is the distance between end projector is 16. That means the front and top view lines uh, will be the distance between A dash and B1 dash will be exactly 60 millimeter from here. So let me say like it is 60 enter 0 and let me just drop one a vertical line from top to bottom means <coughs> that uh, B dash sorry b1 dash and b will lie on this line there is a top view and front view end will lie on this line that is what is the meaning of a distance between end projectors that is a 60 millimeter okay so we don't so here okay just taken not taken exactly from the dead end so we'll say it's a 60 enter 0 enter Let's take alignment indicator. Let's drop one horizontal. <coughs> now, take a smart dimension. Click yes, that now. It's fine. 60 m. So the, now they have given inclination 30 degree to the HP and 45 degree to the VP. So now we don't know the length, but we know the angle from the A dash. So inclination with the HP. So shift to the uh, angle here and give it a 30 degree enter. So it intersects with this uh, 60 mm line. Wherever they, it intersects, you just drop one uh, point there or end it and just drop one horizontal line. So similarly from A, okay, need not worry about the length. Now it's given angle is 45 degree. We'll give it as minus 45 degree. And wherever it intersects with the uh, this 60 mm end projector line, just drop it here and drop on the horizontal line. So now this is what exactly is a locus of B and the locus of B dash. Okay, means on this line one more point will lie. Now here it has intersected. So this is a front view. So we will write this is a B dash and this is our B. Okay. So now from these two Let's take smart dimension and check for the lens one year and one more year. And let's drop the angle between this and this. We have taken as a 30 degree. This and this we have taken as a 45 degree. Now we need to find the true length and true inclination from the top and front view. So this in, uh, length will take it as a 0.5. Okay, now how to get this one? It's a reverse of the previous problem where we'll take a arc by center point let's take from a dash from the b dash drop an arc till locus of a dash from here 
you need to draw one line till the locus of B. Okay, so then it should be connected to the A. So now this will be of a true line which comes as a double eight three three. Okay, now for the smart dimension, click on this one, click it here. 88.33 and angle between this and this we got it as a 41 okay so similarly we can do the same thing for arc by center point so we'll say from a so point b will take it till to the locus of a then a straight line from a till to the b then we'll drop it here okay Okay. So now, with the leader, we'll say it has moved from top to the bottom, and this one we have moved it from bottom, uh, sorry, top to the bottom and bottom to the top. Now go to the smart dimension and check out the length of this one. Uh, it is coming as 91.66. Now, here this is the true length in the front view which is coming 91.66 and this is the true length in the top view. So true length should remain same. So something is wrong with this line. So let's say zoom it properly. Now see this line is not connected properly to the end. So delete that line. Now take a line from this end join to the A. So now you can see it is 91.65. Just so exactly you can just correlate the things and cross check the things okay that is what is very important for us so now 41 and the length of angle this is bigger one and we'll drop it outside and we will move upward same so this is 30 degree which is bigger one and the angle between the true length and this one, that's a true inclination it's a 20 degree okay so just to have a little more clarity change the true length thickness to the 0.35 it looks like a bit thicker and this is how exactly we can uh, note okay in the previous problem we have done it in a reverse way where they have given uh, true length and true inclination from that one we found the top view uh, apparent top view and apparent front view inclination as a true length and in the previous problem we have given a one hint where we can check easily so both the lines will come in a sorry front and top will come in a same line that is what is the here we call it in other word the distance between the end projector and here by using those things we have found the true length and true inclination and uh, by mistake we didn't get the true uh, equal true length so then we found the mistake and easily we can see the true length will remain same the top as well as in the front okay so that's how exactly we can uh, do the lines problem in a simple way you can these are the only two ways by which you can there is a one more way in which they will tell the the they will locate the end points with respect to the vp and hp and giving the inclination and even the length so that also we can see you know coming videos okay so thank you